Hey guys, I'm Richard. I'm Carlos. That smile is fake. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Whatever. Anyway, um, welcome back to our channel. Um, we actually did a Instagram questionnaire, whatever you call that thing, a few months back, and so we're kind of late. But one of the biggest questions that we got was, how did you guys meet? So we're here to tell our how we met story. get into all the details yes there is an age difference i'm now 32 carlos is 47 years young um and we did meet um actually we've been together for 12 years in about a month so do that kind of math i was 20 years old he was 35 but our story actually began about four years prior to that so do you want to tell the folks how you met or should i Actually, since you're older, why don't we test your memory? Go ahead. I was doing a fashion <laughs> show. Okay. It was MySpace. It wasn't MySpace. See, this is, this is why I had you tell the story. It was a trap. Now I need jewelry. It was MySpace. It was not MySpace. What about websites? <laughs> <laughs> it was Black Planet. Black Planet, yeah. <laughs> it's not the same thing. MySpace came out way after Black Planet did. Well, Black Pine, whatever. Okay. It's been dinosaur since uh, that. That doesn't even exist anymore, I think. Okay. Anyway, Black Planet. I put up a poster or a flyer um, searching for models for a fashion show I was doing. Whatever. And I was an inspiring model at the time. Yeah, and he had uh, braids. I'll. So I'm gonna shoot to a picture in a moment, but go ahead. Actually, let's put the picture up now. Mm-hmm. That's cute, right? Young. Girl. So, he re replied. I was too young. Because he was 16? I was 16. 17. I was 16, yeah. I decided that I had to meet his mother before he could be a part of the fashion show. Well, I had to aud audition. So, at, it, we needed parental consent, obviously I was underage and so, but me being the rebel that I am, I applied anyway. I figured I'm not going to let age stop me, so, you know, I'm cute, so, you know, ish. Okay. So, met him the day after he turned 17? Yeah, August 21st, 2003. And met his mother, and the following day we did a photo shoot. Uh, was it the bike shoot? With photo, photo shoot on the bike mm -hmm. with my s somewhat swim line pom pom shorts. Oh, you can't say that like camera. It's whatever. It's what Jamaicans say. Really short shorts for those of you who are not Jamaican. For the Americans, it's Daisy Dukes. Same thing. Oh no no, Daisy Dukes are not that short. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, be, let's be clear. I was pushing the boundaries. Uh, How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> so after the photo shoot, I, the truth to be told, we both were in struggling relationships. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get so, there. So we we talked a couple of times. We did a couple of um, fit-ins. Yeah, we did a couple of fit-ins. We did a few. And then. But it wasn't only you uh, auditioned. Your no, friend. so I had some friends in high school. So I went to performing arts high school, so I was a dance major. And my best friend, Michelle, she also was interested in modeling. And so when we did the shoot, or the fashion show rather that you did, um, the two of us actually were in the fashion show. But that was February the following year. So I met you August 21st, in person at least, August 21st, 2003. And then the fashion show was sometime around Valentine's Day, February 2004. Yeah, he has um, the elephant um, syndrome. Don't forget anything. Nope. So that works in my. Probably can tell you what color clothing I have. He on. had on. Okay, <laughs> he had on a blue. Never forget this. 
a blue, you remember back then when like velour suits were a thing, like the whole, <laughs> the whole, the whole like jacket and the pants and the Bluetooth headsets at that time was a thing also, so he had a Bluetooth headset in, but he thought he was cool. Anyway, it wasn't about the clothes. Um, but yeah, a blue, a blue velour tracksuit. And, and about 20 pounds thinner. He was sexy. I mean, you still are very sexy. But he was sexy. Despite the I'll blue. I'll pay you later for <laughs> Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> you can continue. So, uh, I think we talked while we were both working out or trying to figure out the relationship we were in. We were communicating, but not much. Not on that level, by the way, right? So I don't want you all to think that, oh my god, at 16 years old, I was running loose and he was taking advantage. That was no. not, not the case. I actually saw him in the oh. village and I chased him out of the village. Okay, so... Th that was the other thing. Okay, alright. So, so for those of you from, who are from New York or who've been to New York, especially around that time, you know there's like Christopher Street, there's the West Village, there's where a lot of... Was too young to be a part of that crowd. A lot of young... Not young, I think all ages, but in, no. But but hold on, hold on. Without supervision, okay. So you are looking to go buck wild. I was not. I I, I, I I was not looking to go. What were you all cruising street. for? We were, not, we were not cruising. We were just having a good time and hanging out with friends. Yeah, friends who were up to no good. Anyway, um, so for those of you, for those of you who are who are and yes, I was there simply because I was old enough to be in that surrounding. I didn't need supervision. I knew what it was about. Okay, okay. And therefore, when I saw him with his little click, mm, take a sip. Sorry, mom. <laughs> anyway, um, but you mentioned about um, our relationships at the time. So at that time, um, you know, as most I would argue, sixteen-year-olds tend to want to have you know, your first boyfriend or girlfriend. And so I was a junior in high school um, when we met. And at that time, I was actually in a relationship with someone um, for a few months. We had been together since about January of that of that year. Um, and the relationship I was in at that time was not healthy. Whether, Toxic. whether it was a 16-year-old or a 25-year-old or 30, no matter what age you are, that what we were going through at that time wasn't healthy at all. Um, and I very much leaned on Carlos as a sounding board to, to, to give me advice about what I should accept and expect um, and vice versa. You were also in relationship at the time. Um, I think you guys were together for far longer than I was with um, my boyfriend at the time. But I didn't feel... Around three and a half, four, yeah around three and a half, four years. At the time that we met? When we broke up it was four years. Okay, so but I met you before that. So you were about a year into your relationship yeah. at the time. Um, and it turned out that he also was going through some issues with his then partner. And we both kind of used one another as a sounding board to talk through again. Actually, I wasn't looking for you to give me any. Uh, because uh, he knows it all. No, I know most things. Oh, God. The, the thing was, you were more mature for your age than most. And the question you posed to me, which was very thought-provoking, if you know you can do better, then why stay in it? And meanwhile, I wasn't taking my own advice. I knew I could do better. And that's not, this is not an indictment on the person with the time, it's just for where we were at. Yes, you could have done better. I could have done hey, better. Listen, listen. The truth to be told, we all go through our own individual struggles and issues, but it's not fair to take it out on someone else in your own insecurities. And that person was insecure in his own self, mm -hmm. trying to find his own self, mm -hmm. and in the same spirit, try to squash or, or, or dim your light. To meet his, or to, to, to for him to own. shine. Right, 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 right. And right. It, whether male or female, it wasn't a healthy thing. Right. And, um, I just thought that it was necessary for you to know that you were much more of a greater value than how you were living. It's okay. Whatever. Isn't me kind? Whatever. whatever. You're kind. I'm just telling the truth. Oh, well, you know. This so, got me in the end. 
Well, the life, the life, the life, and I knew this way before, but the life I save might just be my own. Right. And uh, with the individual I was dating, again, we all did our thing. I, I disrespected myself by disrespecting him, or in disrespecting myself, I disrespected him. And wasn't fair to him, wasn't fair to me. So when we met, excuse me, and you posed that question, it was thought provoking and it was um, something that I had to use to search myself. And search myself, decided, you know what? I want to still try, which I tried for another year, I guess. It was more than that, actually, because I was with my partner at that time when I think we had that conversation for a little over a year because it was my senior year of high school it was after the fashion show I believe and January was January of the year of the fashion show would have made a year that he and I were together and so I believe that discussion happened at that point and then we didn't get together until three years after that so it took some time I think for you and also for me because we had continued that relationship for about three years um, after I initially met you. Um, and so, yeah, I think both of us were at a place where we were trying to make whatever we were in work, and for whatever reason, it wasn't able to or meant to work. Um, and we both had to go our separate ways. Evaluate, yeah. and then that person, um, I tried to work it out with him several times, and. I recognize that what a thought I have when I mention when I men when I mention my past, I, I tend to pose the thought. If you are allowing me or you are influencing me to behave out of the character that I know that I am, then you're not meant to be in my life. And I think that was the thing. At that point in time, his actions was creating a reaction from me that would either end me in jail or worse. Don't, don't drop the soap. Yeah. So at the end of the day, um, I know I can be violent and I try not to be. Unless you come from my family. For those of you who are okay. And okay, for those of you wondering, oh my yeah, gosh, is he violent towards Richard? No, but I think what you're saying is I'm that you have a temper. I'm very yes. Um, temper. I have a temper and I'm very defensive of or protective of my family. Of your space. Yeah. and my uh, loved ones and friends so I'm loyal to the end so for me at that point in time evaluated myself I decided to step away from that person I think it was a couple of weeks after that I um you're not even I think you're skipping around a little bit what so okay um time out um and and this is where I think most people who ask me or say to me oh my gosh you and Carl are goals and all of that I we don't aspire to be because I think one of the things that we um, are that we keep at the forefront of our mind when we tell our story is that we tell the complete story we don't tell the aspirational all view. the truth and nothing but the truth right and so our our truth is that it's not all roses and sunshine and I think a lot of people hope and think that that's in the beginning it was no but our road to get to where we are it was not no right? you were you were a piece of work no. Oh, okay. Okay. Really? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll look at the later. I, later. as he mentioned, I'm aggressive. I, you, I, you, I, you mentioned that. Yes, you I said. Am. Actually, I think the word you use is violent. Yes, I can be. <laughs> I mean, that's not the word. It's that a tread, tread lightly. Oh, well, here you go. Here you go. Anyway, what I was trying to say before you said something else was that we like to just be real, and so part of our story. Well, when we tell our story, rather, we're going to tell the parts that are absolutely great, and there are many parts of our story that are great, but there are parts of a story that we're not always proud of, um, both together and individually, and, and we have to share that too because I think that makes us who we are now.